for chapter three, starting with the 3.1. 3.1 is about the statement negation and the quantified statement. Okay, so what does it mean by the statement? We're gonna look at um, the simple statement first. The simple statement, like just one single sentence that you can tell either true or false, not both at the same time. So the notation to represent the true statement, we use a T as a true value, F as a false or the true value as a false for that statement, okay? So one statement either be true or false. If you cannot tell, so that is not considered as a statement. What is not a statement? Gonna be the group of the commands. Like, for example, go for a walk or open page 23, something like that. So the commands are not statement. The opinions are not statement. Okay, and the questions. They are not statement either. Whatever that you cannot answer, either true or false, those are not statement. All right. And then for the symbolic form or the symbol to use, we use, we always starting with the P for the simple statement. If you have more than one, you're going to use like the next letter, like Q, R. So these are common notations for the simple statements. Okay. Then, for example, if you let the P represent the statement like today is Wednesday. And technically, you know that this is true because today is, yeah, it's Wednesday, right? All right, so that's the first part about the general information on the statements. So the next one about the negation, for the negation is, um, the statement that has opposite true value of the original statement and the notation we use the tube okay for example the negation of the statement p is in a symbolic form as not p okay if p has the true value as true the truth value as a true like I made it up over here. So not P, the truth value will be opposite. And what does it mean opposite? So gonna be false as the truth value. And we use a notation like F, okay? That's a quick recap for the negation. And then the last part, is about the quantify statement. Quantify statement means the statement that has the, the term or the word that tells about the quantity. And those terms, are those words, are the term all, some, some not, and none or no. Okay, the next part of this is to write the negation of the quantified statement. For the negation of quantified statement, I, uh, on the recordings, I also mentioned this, a few times, actually multiple times, to set up the diagram by starting with the, the maximum quantity, which is the all on the upper left, and then do it in the counterclockwise orientation. So starting all and then lower left here as the sum, and then go over to the right, which is in the counterclockwise orientation. This one is sum not, 
and end up with the upper right corner as the none. When you set up these four corners with four quantifiers, so you draw the line crossway or in the diagonal way. So then this way means the negation of all is some not or the other way around, like negation of some not is all. And at the same time, negation of some is none or negation of none is some. Okay, that's how to write the negation of the quantify statement by using the diagram to help you out uh, to get the right way. So for example, if we have <clears throat> the statement, I'm going to pick the one that you don't see on the, on the notes, the one that is not completed, okay? For example, you have the statement like sum uh, video game. Uh, non-violent and from this way you can see the quantifier sum so this one is a quantifier and then you can write the negation of the quantifier sum as so i'm gonna write it as so negation so as you see the sum is on the lower left and the negation of the sum is none. So the negation of this statement, or it's called quantifying statement. Is so replace the sum with the none. So we write it as so on none of or no video game either way. Uh, non violent. Okay, so this is how you work on the negation of the quantifier. And this is the recap for section 3.1.